followers of Romulus. Right. This band of false pagans My birthday has been boy. terrorizing Buddy. the city for months and driving the people into the arms of the church. How convenient. convenient. Exactly. I believe the Borgia are supporting them, but proof remains scarce. That is why the letter is so important. Here it is. I hope you can break a cipher. Cazzo. Another encryption. This one was supposed to be legible. They are what? transmitting them using a code sheet. Without it, we have nothing. Sometimes logic is not the only way to win a war. Antiamo, you said we had allies in this city. Bring me to them. You didn't meet some familiar faces. Follow me. I believe it's uh, the fighter, the lover, and the thief. Two familiar faces. Well, no, actually, a lot of familiar faces. Hey! I have a feeling I might want to start renovating these places, but I probably don't have enough money. Wait for me, Machiavelli. Aqua, Aquadotto Claudia. I don't believe this one's interesting. I do remember this one, though. One of the ancient aqueducts that supplied the city, at its peak, the Aquadotto Claudia, was able to provide all 14 districts with water. Holy crap. The hugely relied upon source inexplicably went dry for nine years, right around the time Nero was building his modest golden palace. Well, the fact it was underground probably means he disrupted the groundwater. His little pet project required vast amounts of water, but luckily, the man build site was... The main build site, excuse me, was at the foot of Claudia's Castellum, or storage reservoir. When the palace was completed, the water conveniently came back. To this day, historians are baffled as to what caused the drought. My bet? Dramatic tension. <laughs> Probably. I'm assuming they, they built a giant tunnel underground. I mean, where where's groundwater? In the ground. So, you know. And once it was done, I don't know why it would come back, but I don't know. It is strange. We recently began traveling through the tunnels to avoid the guard. Fast travel stations. But many of the entrances in the city are broken. By using them, we can get to our destination rapidly without encountering resistance. Good. All right, let's go. We're going to Isla Tiberina, I believe, yes. There was one time I was watching Jeopardy, and there was an Italian Renaissance uh, category. This was a while back. And um, they said something about, um, you know, like a river with an island off of, in Rome. And I was like, is that Isla Tiberina? And it was like, whatever the contestant's name was. Uh, what is Tiber Island? And it's like, correct. And mom looks at me like, how the fuck do you know that? I'm just like, you need to think video games don't teach me anything. Like, yeah. I got every single question to that category then correct, Cravat, and it's because Nicolo. of these games. Ah, Serezio. A pleasure. Um, hi? Fabio Orsini, at your service. Orsini, I've huh? heard a great deal about you from my cousin, Bartolomeo Dalviano. Hey! A fine warrior. Fabio has lent us an unused storeroom on Isola Tiberina. I know you were used to better accommodations in Toscana. It is perfect. Bene. Then I am off to begin preparations for Romagna. Today, Cesare commands my men, but soon, I hope we will be free. I like you, buddy. Your last name's Orsini, which is a bit concerning. Now, but... I propose we begin planning our assault on the Borgia. Oh, you think we are ready for such an attack? <laughs> we're not. See, si. No, Do we're you not. know, for instance, where the Borgia troops took Caterina Sforza? What? Are you also unaware that the Borgia have captured the Apple of Eden? How could we have lost the Apple? <laughs> so, you do not know, know what, what goes on with our on. enemies. Do we at least have an underground here to work with? Hardly. Our mercenaries are ensnared in a losing battle with Cesare's French What allies. makes you think we're ready? We have girls working for us in a brothel, frequented by cardinals and other important Romans. But the madam there is lazy and would rather attend parties than further our cause. What about the city's thieves? Do they have a guild? See, si, but they refuse to talk to us. I don't know why. The fighter, the what lover, are you going and to do? Make, Make some, some friends. friends. <laughs> I love that line. Something Machiavelli is incapable of doing. He can make some allies, recruit some allies, absolutely, but when it comes to making friends, it's not exactly a cynic's strong point. But alright, that's sequence uh, two, complete, I believe. Um, a, a wilderness of tigers, complete. And now we're heading into sequence three, the fighter, the lover, and the thief. Um... What's fighter? Uh, combatente, I think is 
a fighter in Italian? I don't know what lover is. And thief is ladro, I believe. So I, I know some Italian, I'm very happy. <laughs> I don't know what lover is, though. Um, if I have any people in the comments who know Italian or live in Italy, um, please leave a comment. Tell me what lover is. All right, here we go. The sequence three, the fighter, the lover, and the thief. How many times do you think I can say that phrase? <laughs> All right, I'm done. I won't say it anymore. Okay. Fabio Orsini. There is your database. I was waiting for it. Okay. He's a condottiero. A condottiero from the fierce Orsini family, Fabio was already fighting by the age of 18, entering Monte Pulciano. Pulciano. Good God. To help the Sienese, I guess, because Siena. In 1498, he partnered with Bartolomeo Dalviano against the Savelli. A rival family. Savelli? A rival family that joined the dark side, marrying Geronima Borgia, a cousin of Lucrezia. Oh, well, lovely. At first, Fabio seems to help his new in-laws, but then, in 1499, while Cesare is in Romagna, he frees a friend imprisoned in the Tortinona, suggesting his allegiance to the Borgia may have been wavering. Once his father, Paolo, was killed by Cesare, he fled for prudence, then attacked Micheletto's army and lost, becoming an outlaw raiding the countryside. His notoriety put him on a list of bandits published by the Pope. He continued to wage war for the rest of his short life, dying of a head wound after the Battle of Garigliano. Garigliano? Was that G silent? No idea. In 1504. Oh, well, we're already in like 1501. That always makes me sad. That always makes me sad when, like, uh, you read a database oh, entry of a character in the game that's still alive, historically, and they say that they died in a, like soon after you meet them. It's like, well. Me. Maybe I like them. Okay, wait, where the hell am I going? Why am I going back in here? Oh, it's a bigger. Well, you know what? You caught me in a good mood. I beat Five Nights at Freddy's 2 today. Oops. Um, Fib Fib. Five Fib. How do I throw money? I don't know how I throw. There we go. around the restricted area, which has a Borja tower in it. I suppose we could do one of- Ah, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it. Except, uh, I can't tell if I'm being looked at. I forgot. My notoriety system's off. OUT OF THE WAY, BITCH! <laughs> what is bitch in Italian? I know putana, which is whore. I guess that could also be bitch, but I don't know. <laughs> nice catch. All right, there's the captain. I can see him on my mm, my map. I don't have a crossbow yet. I need to save up money for a crossbow. I forgot that's a thing in this game. Hey, uh, Assassin's Creed trivia. The reason why Altair has a crossbow in the cinematic trailer for Assassin's Creed 1, but, uh-oh, where is that coming from? But doesn't have a crossbow in, uh, in the actual game itself yeah. is because, um, originally they had him with a crossbow in the game. God damn it. Shut up. But they took it out because apparently it wasn't historically accurate for him to have one, so they took it out at the last second. Oh, that's the- I think that's the captain. Okay. Wait, no, that's not the captain. He doesn't- Oh, it is- it is the captain. Where the- Keep on him, boys! All I- We are Borja! We know no fear! <laughs> what the hell's happening?! I'm just following above his head! Excuse me! What the fuck do I do? Oh dear god almighty! Where am I going? Okay, I'm going to space. See ya. I'm going to space. What the fuck is happening? Ah, when there's a smile in your heart, there's no better time to start. Think of all the joy you'll find when you leave the world behind and bid your fears goodbye. <laughs> you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly, you can fly. What the fuck? Get me down! Stop this madness! <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see how long this I'm just gonna float away forever. I just tried to air assassinate the Borgia guard. What the hell's happening? I'm so glad I decided to do that tower at the last second. Alright. Well, shows that, uh, no heavily praised game was without its bugs. Indeed. I 
think eventually I'm going to desynchronize because I'm going to leave the perimeter of the city. Well, we get a nice view at least. Look at that. That's beautiful. I think we're just, uh, maybe just over the height of the Castel Sant'Angelo's flag. <laughs> that is a lovely view. Still going up? I think, I think we're still going up. Okay. I think I got more money in the bank. <laughs> That's cool. Can I please get down now? I can't do anything. Oh my god. What the fuck? Get me down! I don't want to restart. Ugh, my mouth hurts. I think I might desynchronize. Okay, this that's enough. Let's just let's just get the fuck out of this. Let's uh oh wait, I'm not actually in a mission, I can't restart. Well fuck! <laughs> I you know what? Let's do a virtual training program. <laughs> um I need to practice my combat, so let's go ahead and do that. Um Sure. Oh, see? Wait! <gasps> I keep my records! How come I only have a silver in this one? I should have a gold. So you know what? Let's go ahead and just do Flawless Hidden Blade. Let's just do that. And then load up <laughs> the game to see if it fixed it. What the hell just happened? There's always the types of bugs I- I hit that bug in 3, and I hit that bug in Liberation. Both those were the same b b b b b glitch. Where I tried to hop over something, and all of a sudden I was catapulted into the air, and then fell down to my death. This one was the exact same glitch, except minus gravity. <laughs> I just kept going up. Alright. <clears throat> Kill as many guards as possible without being hit. So I just I just keep going until I'm hit. Oh, get off me. Alright, 12, 13, excuse me. Oh, great, we got pole guys. These guys suck. Oh, that's why. Okay. See him try to hit me. All right, what was that? Twenty-four. What's my record on this one? Hey, new personal best, my ass. Okay. Um. Yeah, my best is fifty-nine, not twenty-two. Fuck you. Okay. Um. Let me see. Yes. Exit virtual training. Let's go back to the actual game and see if I fix it. I don't want to have to quit out of the game or restart the animus. Uh, leave the animus. Excuse me. My cheeks are red because I was laughing so hard. <laughs> yep. Pardon me. Excuse me. I know, I'm just the worst. Aha! This is the brothel. Okay. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. <laughs> it's like, oh, if it were any other circumstance, I'd absolutely take you up on your unspoken offer. Welcome to the Rosa in Fiore, stranger. Salve. Would you be kind enough to call the owner for me? Madonna Solari is not in. Solari? Do you know where she is? I... Tomb Raider much? Aiuto! Aiuto! Madonna Solari! Oh, Lucia! We thought you were gone for good. The men took us on a ship. And they released me, but she... Who took you on a ship? Slave traders, Messere. Near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. I will get her back. Isola Tiberina. Hmm. I've been saying Isola Tiberina for a very long time. <laughs> My bad. Deliver the money necessary to save the mistress of the Rosa and Fiore from the slave traders holding her captive. Full sink, do not swim. Yeah, I remember the full sink for that one. High stakes negotiation. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not timed, I don't believe. And I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I have to gather enough money first. <laughs> okay. Oh, then may everybody let me allow you to just take my coin. Almost there. Take your money as well. This is gonna take a while. Um, there happened to be a bank in the nearby vicinity that I can... Well, if I renovate it, that costs money. Uh, well, either way, there's no bank nearby. <laughs> okay, um... Not by me, don't you worry about it. Ooh, there's lots of people here. Almost there. Ah, there we go. Alright, let's go. I have seven floatings to spare. Alright. 